Okay, my brothers and sisters. Woo, here we go again. Today, I want to talk about five things that black men must understand before dating a black woman in 2023. Now, this is not going to be the kind of video y'all think it's going to be, or maybe it is. Y'all know by now, I don't really bash black women despite the black women that act like I do. I don't, you know what I'm saying? And I don't really bash black men despite the black men that act like I do. Y'all are just way too sensitive, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to be able to take some criticism. You know, we are not all perfect. We are not infallible. We all make mistakes. And the only way you can correct your mistakes is if you, if you allow somebody who observed the mistakes or somebody who know where you're at, somebody who's been where you are. If you will let them tell you what they see, then you can change course. But we don't want to course, course correct, right? We want to keep going down the, the dangerous path to nowhere that we're heading down. But <clears throat> well, I'm talking about these five things, right? And um, the first thing you see on the list is pro-blackness. Now, let me say this before I get let, let, let me Let me preface this video by saying this here. I am not blaming black women for none of the stuff I'm about to say. The truth of the matter is they are victims of a conditioning. And this is what I've been trying to tell my attackers, especially the ones who come at me like, why you got a white girl? Why? It's, listen, bro, my wife not being black has nothing to do with why I have her. I have that woman because of the kind of person she is. I can't say that enough, but y'all don't hear it. So maybe when I explain these five things that black men must understand before dating a black woman in America, because that's really what I'm talking about, maybe y'all will get what I'm trying to tell y'all here. And the first one is pro-blackness. Now, this is the, this is what you call a goddamn oxymoron or some type of contradiction in and of itself just like feminism is not really for the betterment of females you know what i'm saying and every other alphabet movement we got going on is really not about what they say it's about you know it's like what government do they, they give something a name and whatever they call it the actual bill does the exact opposite well you know we all move like that i mean our entire society is just all upside down all backwards and we are no better Pro-blackness has nothing to do with, 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 with black people loving their own self and kind. That's not what it's about. That is not what it's about. You are lying to yourself if you think that that's what it's about. Because when you look at the actions of the so-called pro-blacks that we have, how, how, how the meaning they are towards black people, particularly black men, you can't tell me that that's an expression of love. You can't tell me that the way they con us out of money, how they sell us sell us wet food stamps and dead rats, you know what I'm saying, and snake oil. You can't tell me that that's an expression of self-love. You can't tell me they're going around selling us boot camps, a whole bunch of business ideas that they know damn well don't work. It's an expression of self-love. You can't tell me that the preaching of these economic you know, uh, power economics and all that stuff. One actually wrote a book called Powernomics. You know, you can't tell me that that's an expression of self-love when they know that they are telling you some bullshit. That's not an expression of self-love. Pro-blackness is not about black people loving themselves and kind. Pro-blackness is about keeping us under the thumb of white supreme, the white system and black women. That's what it is. Oh... Click, 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 click. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Scroll, scroll. Y'all mad. I, I, I know. Look, I know 80 motherfuckers just stopped watching. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know they was already watching the scroll because y'all don't like clicking at all. And now y'all just scroll by, huh? It's over now, huh, bro? But it's all good, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm going to keep, look. I'm going to keep delivering this message, man, because this is the message that, that Allah puts on my heart to tell y'all, bro. You know what I'm saying? He, he puts it on me to tell y'all the truth, so... I'm just keep telling y'all the truth, man. And one day maybe y'all get it, you know, or not. It don't make me none either way, man, because I'm, I'm content in life. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, y'all trying to get y'all, but I got me. You know what I'm saying? I got me. I did me. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, pro-blackness is about keeping us under the thumb of this white system 
and keeping us on keeping black men up under black women. That's what it is. Because when you have this kind of ideology, if you notice, it only benefits black women and the system. For instance, the system, right? Education. How you go tell me, how, I say that wrong. How are you going to tell me, I, I can mix some sentences up. How are you going to tell me that you're a pro-black when everything you know about yourself came from white folks? I forgot I had my camera there. I'm looking at the damn thing on here. How are you going to tell me that you're pro-black and everything you know about yourself came from white folks? You're not pro-black, bro. And, they, and, and these pro-black men and women worship the educational system of the white man. Worship it. I mean, from the nation of Islam to the Pan-Africanists, to the, from the Hebrew to the Moor, worship this educational system. Live by, die by it. Won't buck it. And the educational system is controlled by our enemy. By a group of people that have made it clear that they want they, that they would love nothing more than to see us gone. That's who controls your pro-blackness. That's systemic. They worship economics. Degrees and stuff. That's part of social economics. Status. Dr. Umar Johnson did a video talk about how we, when, when, when they allow black police officers to put on a uniform, you know, we oftentimes adopt their characteristics. Well, what's the difference between their uniform and their letters behind your name? The PhD. What's the difference? The DR in front of your name. The MD behind. What's the difference? You still are a product of their system. Their system validates you. Their system validates all of these pro-blacks. How many pro-blacks do you know of that's like in the media somewhere that don't have a college degree? If they don't come out the nation, they got a college degree. And most of them got college degrees. So everything you know about yourself comes from the validation of white folks. You know what I'm saying? It, it's accredited by white folks. That is the, that is the extent of your pro-blackness. And... Uh, an example of keeping my, keeping us under black women. For instance, browbeating black men to stay with black women. You got to be with black women. What one more says it's an exercise in self hate if you date anybody other than a black woman. Well, what about the black women that date black uh, outside their race? What is that an exercise in? See, the pro blacks are silent on that. They only concerned with what black men do. They not concerned with what black women do. A black woman can give any excuse she wants as to why she has a non-black man and they are either going to support it accept it or go silent on it but a black man could explain why he has a woman out that's not black from from here until the end of time and they ain't trying to hear it i've already explained myself several times on this channel and i lose subscribers every time i explain it because they don't want to hear it but y'all the ones that's miserable miserable uh Excuse me, I need some water. I don't have the water back here. Y'all are the ones that's miserable. Not me. I got mine. I got mine. Y'all are the one in this, this living hell of a space. Not me. I'm okay. I got my companion. I got my help me. I got me somebody I can travel with. You are the one that's concerned with her race. Not me. I'm concerned with her character. I'm concerned with the kind of person she is so if you are dating under the guise of pro-blackness as a black man you've already lost the game bro you've already lost the game because now you have put a limitation on yourself that everybody knows and that goes down to number two entitlement once this woman know that you don't have nowhere to go either by your own belief your own self-imposed limitations or the limitation that's really imposed on us by society, she thinks now she is entitled to you because you won't have no other options. You are hers. And a conquered thing has no value. I did a video early on the channel where I talked about that. Over y'all head, y'all got, you, niggas either got mad at me or they, I mean, God damn, I can't win with y'all. A conquered thing has no value. 
Look, I don't care who you date. I'm telling you, you don't let nobody believe that your only option is them. That's what I'm telling you. And black American women honestly believe that your only real option is them. Especially now. They didn't believe that in the 70s. They didn't believe that in the 80s. They didn't believe that in the 90s. But by the 2000s, y'all have all succumbed to pro-blackness. They got you. And that's when everything changed, if you think about it. That's when they really went egg. And when y'all got pro-black, you know what they did around 2000? At the Essence Festival, they had a symposium where they was literally telling black women to start dating other men. At Essence, at a black event, they were telling black women to start dating non-black men. Had black men tried that, that would have never even been allowed at Essence. It would have never been allowed. But they allow it because it's pro-black to let the black woman do anything. And it's pro-black to stop the black man from doing anything. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Y'all gonna catch up to me, man. I am the old one here. I am the one with all these years of experience doing things. I wasn't on the porch my whole life. I didn't work a job my whole life. I, I was a hustler, so I had free time. I had I have a lot of experiences. I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I know. So around that same time, that's when you start getting how to get away with murder and scandal and all this stuff. Shoving it down our throats. Pushing black women to white boys. While at the same time, they was telling us to stop dating outside the race. Because we had got tired of feminism back in the 70s and 80s. We just didn't argue with the sisters. We just simply went our own way. So what they did was they countered that by, by browbeating us constantly, self-hate, you don't love your mama, all this stuff, you know, and they got to y'all. Because y'all don't understand that who you date and marry has nothing to do with self-love. I mean, it does. It does, but not in regards to who you don't date. Let me see if I can say this properly, because it does. But you got to say this right. Let me try to get this out right. You date and marry based on who is the best fit in your life. Not who is the right race in your life. That's what I mean by that. Self-love will make you date and marry the person that is best for you. That's self-love. That's what I was trying to say. That's what I was trying to say. That's self-love. Self-love is not an ideology that's going to limit you based on anything because when you love yourself you don't put limitations on you that hurt you that's not what you do when you love yourself or when you love anything for that matter you let it go you let it try to explore you let it try to be you you let it find its way you should let love find its way wherever it land that's where it land self-love would not stop that stupidity stops it and these women know that you are stupid now they know they got you locked in now. They know you ain't going nowhere. They are entitled to you and a conquered thing has no value. That's the first, that's the second mistake you make is that you let them believe that you ain't going nowhere. Even if you have options because you're dating on the ideology of blackness, of black first, you ain't going nowhere. So she walks all over you, dog you out, talk bad to you. Uh, 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 you I mean... Come on, y'all complain about it all day. I ain't got to say it. YouTube is full of videos of black men airing out their grievances. And 99% of them are true. There are some that's not true. But, you know, a lot of them, you got, you got about, you know, 10% of them exaggerated. But they true too, but they just exaggerated. But, I mean, for the most part, it's true. And that brings me to the next one, the human factor. Now, remember, in the beginning, I said, I'm not blaming sisters for none of this stuff. Because we have all been indoctrinated under the system of self uh, of white supremacy, which teaches us to look at our own unfavorably. I've talked about this in other videos, you know what I'm saying? And it's, just, it's, it's the truth. We, in general, don't look at each other in a favorable way. But as I just told the system, and I was explaining for like the umpteen times since I had this channel how I ended up with a white woman and why I still say I love my sisters. I don't hate my sisters. I love my sisters. 
why I could say that and be married to somebody else, which I didn't understand. Y'all gotta watch that video. I really didn't even understand the collection, the, the connection to that, right? And when I was trying to explain to the sister, out in, in my in my experience, when I talk about the the, 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 the level of self-hatred, how we look at each other, in my experience, now this is real. I walk around, sometimes I have my kufi on. Brothers nod their head, speak, whether I got the kufi on or not. Strange brothers always nod, speak, salam, my brother, something, right? We always greet each other. Sisters never greet me. Do their best not to look at me. One day in a grocery store, they had, a, had one of these little natural sisters, had a natural little fro on her head. Nice looking sister though, you know what I'm saying? In the store, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and she and I almost bumped into each other three or four times in, in the aisles and it was crowded that day so we literally I got to stop and twist and so she can pass and each time I would do something so that we don't like touch each other this chick would have her head down burning past me almost about to run me over just so she don't have to look me in the eyes and, and make contact and nod a smile like a human being real experience and I mean I got nothing but stories like that at our community, man, we have, we have a pool inside our community. I live in, like, you know, a nice little community, right? But at the country club, we have, like, a pool. And every weekend in the summertime, they have pool parties. And the brothers, all the black men live back here. We will all meet. We don't even know each other's names. But we will all talk to each other. We would get together at the pool, sit around, buy each other drinks. I don't really drink, so you know what I'm saying, but buy each other stuff, you know what I'm saying, little snackies. And we were sitting out with a spot, we would talk and chop it up with each other, right? The black women back here would never even look at us. Walk past us, walk through us, bump into us and keep going, no excuse me, no nothing. They don't even look at us and say, fuck you niggas. Real talk. But then when they see an Asian girl over there, a white girl over there, you look up then, you got all these fucking eyes on you from the black women that just walk past you and act like they didn't even see you standing there. Now they looking at the white girls and the Asian girls over there rolling their eyes at you. This is real talk. So the human factor is not that they don't see us as human beings, my brother. We don't see each other as human beings, period. But they see us even lower. Now, saying they don't see us as human beings, y'all might think that's going far. Okay, let's rewind that. They damn sure when they measure us up in society, right, we are dead last. They are aware of that. They are aware of that. They, the way they see it, that we are the last people that they owe any degree of civility towards, any degree of humanity towards, any degree of, of politeness towards. We are the last because we are at the dead bottom. That is how black women have been conditioned. I'm not blaming them. I'm telling you, they are victims. But this is how they have been conditioned to see you. And I see it in the clubs. I see it everywhere. In the nightclub where me and my wife go sometimes, they like to do this swing dancing a lot. I hate that stuff, but it's, it's corny as hell, right? Another thing, niggas trying to be white, see? You know what I'm saying? Corn as hell. But they do the swing dancing. These thirsty ass dudes be out there on the dance floor trying to get at these women, man. You know, they ignore them. The whole time these dudes swarming all around and trying to make eye contact. They don't look at them. They'll sit there and talk to each other. I mean, them women be looking at each other in the eyes like this here talking to each other. Just so they don't have to make eye contact with a man. Y'all ain't hearing me, bruh. This is inhumane. It really makes you wonder why are you even in a black club? Because they feel that they don't go, they don't have to go nowhere else. This is where they have the upper hand. That's why they don't go nowhere else. Why go to a white club when they got to really, really try to compete with white girls that the white boys favor? Why go there? When they can sit in here and be treated like a queen while they dump and shit and piss all over every black man that's in the house. And the crazy thing is after these dudes get them up and do the swing dance with them. The second the song go off, I tell you no lie, Allah is my witness. The second the song go off, these women turn and walk off. They don't even say thank you bitch for the dance. 
walk off from the dudes like the dude was never there. Oh, y'all don't want to get me on this stuff, man. I could be way worse than any Red Pill channel because I'm actually out here. That's the difference. You dudes are living through theory. You dudes are living through, you living vicariously through, through other people's experiences because a lot of y'all, y'all only real problem is that y'all too scared of rejection. Y'all don't live because y'all afraid. But see, I'm not afraid. I'm out here. And I'm shooting at everything. Because like I said, I don't care about race. Race, for me, race is a non-factor for real. For real. It is a non-factor. So if I like the way it look, I holler at it. And I see the differences in how these women respond. I see the differences. I can tell when somebody's going out of their way to try to avoid eye contact. I don't get that from the white women. I don't get that from the Asian women. Now, these not depends on where they're from in Asia, right? I don't get that from them. I damn sure don't get it from Mexicans. Or Latinas for that matter. But you know who you get it from? Africans. Black Americans. Horrible. Horrible, man. Horrible. You could tell when somebody's trying to avoid you, bro. Come on, man. Don't tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. The, the way they view us is at the, they see us as being at the, at the dead last at the bottom. And that don't, that position deserves no respect. That's why they act the way they act towards us. But they're not going to go nowhere else because they know they can't really compete nowhere else. You know what I'm saying? About the only women they can really compete with, to be honest, would be the Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's, that's pushing it because, you know, Mexicans are all good looking, but a lot of them get fat because of their diet, right? They got they have a horrible cultural diet that, that just mess them up, right? So if a Mexican is doing her cultural diet, she's going to be out of shape by the time she's 22, 23 years old, you know? Excuse me. But if a Mexican is not eating like that, she, 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 she's a force to fight with, right? She, she's a problem for black women. But black women could deal with that, but they don't like the Mexican men like that. They could deal with Asian women too, but they don't like them Asian men like that. You know what I'm saying? They they like Latina men, but hell, I mean Latino men, but they I mean they 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 can't compete with them Latino women. Latina women, Latino men, Latina women. They can't compete with them Latina women. You know what I'm saying? So the only place where they have a man that they actually physically do like, physically, they, they like the way we look. The only place they at where, where, where they can be the queen among the men that they do find physically attractive is among black american men so they're not going nowhere they're just gonna they're gonna just treat you like shit while they're there because the human factor is not there now let's go to number four her terms and conditions but well, this is all based on the previous three the pro-blackness that keeps men limited you know the entitlement that 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 comes from knowing that you are limited and the human factor from knowing that you are at the bottom of this social economic system. So all of these come into play when she start formulating her terms and conditions for how the relationship is going to be or how it's going to operate. And if you date a black woman based on those terms and conditions, you have lost. You have lost. I'm going to tell you something. You can't compromise with them. I've tried that too in my personal life. The more you compromise, they still get upset. It don't matter if, if, if they like 99 things about you and there's only one thing they don't like about you. They're going to try to change that one thing. And if they can't, they're going to start becoming a problem until you got to get rid of them. This is my personal experience. Because her terms and conditions are set in her mind. And they are based on certain factors. Pro-blackness, entitlement, and the human factor that you're at the bottom. So... You don't have a right to have anything she don't like. You don't have that right. You don't have a right to be your own person. You don't have a right to be your own human being. You got to be whatever she wants you to be. And guess what, my brothers? If y'all was 100%, she would still dog you out. It still wouldn't matter. Because of the previous three, a conquered thing has no value. And number one, two, and three makes you a conquered thing. Pro-blackness that leads to that entitlement based on the fact that you are at the bottom of the society. That means you are nothing 
you have nothing, you are shit. So you are conquered. A conquered thing has no value. I did that video early on, went over y'all head, y'all got mad at me. Man, y'all gonna respect this gangster over here, bruh. Y'all gonna respect this gangster, bruh. This teachings here, man. Y'all just don't see it. This is teachings. This ain't hating on the sisters, bro, because I'm not blaming them. I'm telling you they are victims. But I'm telling you also you need to be aware of what's going on in their mind so you understand that either you want to deal with that or you don't. I'm just telling you what it is. And I'm not on no dumb stuff by no red pill. See, I understand. The rest of these channels, they're not telling you the whys. They, they just blaming black women as if they all move like a school of fish. And they don't, they, they don't think that's, uh, they, they don't think that's strange. A damn flock of birds. They all just turn in at, at a whim. You know what I'm saying? If something goes on the mainstream, all the black women do it. They start wearing bonnets, you know, tattoos. You know what I'm saying? BBLs, you know what I'm saying? Eyelashes and eyebrows, weed, you know. I mean, you don't see, there's no diversity in these women. They all move in, 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 in unison. Which tells me that something is controlling the way they move. Something is controlling their behavior. And their behavior is controlled by belief. And this is where their beliefs come from. The more educated black women got, the worse off they were. This is where their beliefs come from. Because you know a lot of them get taught in, in, in school? Africano studies. Liberal studies. Liberal arts. This messes these women up. Feminist thought. Uh, uh, intersectionality. This messed these women up, bro. Oh, y'all ain't hear me, man. And then the final one is, a re is the accumulation of all of those. The amalgamation of all four of the previous. Her world view. That's what it say. Her world view. When you get to the... That's the only thing left. Her world view is shaped by everything above that. Which means now she is loyal to the A, B, C, D, L, G, B, T. She is loyal to them. She is loyal to Transformers. She is loyal to every type of sicko we got. She is loyal to white society and white structure. She is loyal to white social economics. She is loyal to this thing. It don't matter if she vote Democrat, which 99% of them do, 90% do, or she vote conservative, which a very small percent do. So all you men in the red pill manosphere talking about y'all want a traditional marriage, these women are not going to give you that. So why are y'all still sitting around talking about black women all day? You ain't getting what you want from them because I just broke it down for you. I just gave you the why. You are not getting what you want from these women. So why are you sitting online all day, every day, talking about black women, this black women, this black... They are not going to change. They are their own human beings. You don't own them. You don't control them. And they don't respect you enough to change for you. They don't respect you enough to even look at themselves and, and, and do some investigation. Yeah, you got a few of them get online and do the lip service. Do a little talking about how we need to change. Them themselves, most of them are single. Think about it. Most of them are single. If you understand what it takes to be such a good black woman, why you don't have a man? Because the truth of the matter is y'all don't know these people in real life. That's your problem. Y'all y'all are falling in love with, with, with characters. Y'all are falling in love with personalities. Y'all don't know these people. These people are messed up. Y'all are following incels and, and crazy people. Y'all are following psychopaths. Y'all are following kind artists. Oh, man. Real teaching here, bro. I don't give a fuck no more, man. Y'all can click off. Y'all can stop subscribing. I don't care, bro. Allah want me to tell the truth. I'm going to tell the truth, man. I ain't about to be a bitch right now for no subscribers or, 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 or no support. I ain't about to do it, bro. This going to be alpha talk over here, man. You know what I'm saying? I said I was going to stop talking to y'all old dudes because y'all been hating on me. Flagging my channel, all this little whole ass shit, man. But you know what? I'm just going to talk. Whoever wants to get it, whoever wants to receive it, let them receive it. I'm just going to talk. I'm going to put it out there. 
This is real teaching here, man. I'm telling you the why, and I'm telling you I'm not even mad at the sisters. Not, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. They are victims because we have been indoctrinated under the exact same thing. It's just that we are not as deeply invested in all of it as they are. Because we don't really have no benefits from the system. It's amazing that we have as many black men as we do that propagate this system. All we talk about is economics too, money, education. All we do is uphold this shit too. But we know we can't go nowhere. That's why we sit online and try to browbeat the black woman because we don't feel we can just go out there and get a white girl because you sit online, you tell yourself how the black men don't get the white women that, that the white men won't. They get the leftovers. Y'all listen to dumbass niggas like that. So y'all honestly believe that you can't get a nice looking uh, woman that's not black. You really believe that? Because that's what pro-blackness do to you. It limits you at the benefit of black women. I'm telling you the world is out there for you, man. Go live your life, bro. Go go, go, go have your experiences, man. Win, lose, or draw, go try. Stop being scared to try. Go try. Don't limit yourself like that, bro. Don't let nobody limit you based on no damn crazy-ass ideologies, man. You get out there and you live your life, man. You, you go for yours, bro. You try, man. Because these women are set. They not changing. They not going to. Listen to this here. As long as pro-blackness is, 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 the, is, is the dominant ideology of the black American people, that's going to continue to lead to entitlement. That's going to continue to lead to the to, 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 to the human factor being low because we un, we are never going to change that. We're at the bottom of society, the black man is. And the only person above us, the only group above us is the black woman. She's at the she's second to last, but she knows she's not last. And that's the difference. So as long as these things are in place, these women are not going to change. The only thing that can make them change is if you brothers walk. And right there, y'all get mad at me. That's not the right idea, bro. We shouldn't be, we don't need to walk away from black women. I mean, I'm just telling you, you stay and fight. But the only thing that's gonna make them change is if you brothers walk. That's it. Nothing else is going to make them change. The only thing that's going to make them change is if you brothers walk. That's it. Now, you could take the advice of the OG, or you can keep on listening to these old rook jook ass niggas, man, lying to you. That's all on you, bro. I just told you the truth. For all those that do want, that, that, that can accept some real talk, even if you disagree with me. You know what I'm saying? Leave an emoji down in the comment section, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, you don't have to always say something, you know. But if you got something to say, say it. Or leave an emoji, you know what I'm saying? Thumb up, eggplant, I don't care. Just leave an emoji down there. It helps. You know what I'm saying? Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so so, so, so you can stay tuned. Because I'm about to start working. But I'm about to start putting this stuff out, you know what I'm saying? I got the equipment set up. I'm still learning it. But I got the equipment set up. I'm ready to start taking in callers. I'm ready to let people start coming on and talk. I'm about to crank this damn thing up, man. But if you want to throw me $5, man, Venmo at the Black Alpha, Cash App at the Black Alpha, PayPal at realblackalpha at gmail.com. Again, that's Venmo at the Black Alpha, Cash App at the Black Alpha, and PayPal at realblackalpha at gmail.com. Patreon is also at the Black Alpha, and that's coming probably in about a week or two. I'm going to have videos loaded on Patreon. That's a good way to support the channel and also get some raw content that I, that I just can't post on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? It's just going to be stuff I just can't post on YouTube. So, on that note, this is some real teaching, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, look, I did it all, bro. I'm telling y'all from personal experience. I am not telling y'all there's no ideologue. I'm not pulling shit out of my ass. I'm telling y'all what I know, bro. Now, y'all can listen to these clowns or y'all can give us some of this gangster shit, man. You know what I'm saying? The choice is yours. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. The Black Alpha. Till next time, I'm out this bitch. Salam.